Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. Welcome back to Star Wars Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.2. This is the demo uh, that I played. Actually, I released the video yesterday. I'm not sure how many days it'll be till I release this one, but today I'm in the mood to play some, some Imperial faction. I want to bring peace and justice to the galaxy through superior firepower. Now, you guys have said, Shaq, you gotta try out an Imperial faction, and he's added a new one in this. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check out the faction so the Galactic Conquest, we'll be doing the, the, the map that Corey recommended I play after I asked him which one should I play. He says, if you want the, the kind of Imperial uh, playthrough, go Greater Malrood. These guys are one of the uh, Imperial factions. So after the death of the Emperor and the second Death Star's destruction, the Empire has had a power vacuum. And a lot of warlords have risen up, so there's many different factions in this time period. But now, of course, this is Legends canon now. This isn't canon canon, uh, well, until it shows up in, like, I don't know, one of the movies. Or one of the books. Uh, so anyways, we're going to be playing as the Greater Malrood. We're going to take control of the Empire. Now, I did a quick test of this to make sure I could load up. Okay, let's hit start. And I get some really freaking cool units. Uh, and even some uh, Clone Wars area units, which is kind of neat. So, All right, the Traitor, Rogris, and the Rebels appear to be making some form of alliance against Zinji. Uh, we must act quickly and take advantage of the situation to expand something, something dark side. Let me open this back up so we can actually read it. Uh, if Sinji is eliminated as a threat, that should also mean the end of the Rebel Alliance and alliance with Rogris and the ruling council, turning the odds even more in our favor. So there is an Imperial faction that has allied with the New Republic. That's why in my, my last episode, I had Imperial units. Now, at some point, I guess in the story, if you kill a certain leader, the story will progress and that alliance will be broken, changing the campaign. Pretty freaking cool, right? So they've got actual events in here. Let me pause it. That will change how the campaign goes. So if you know a lot about the extended universe uh, for the Legends canon, then you're probably going to get a hell of a lot more out of this than I am. I just want to, you know, command some Star Destroyers and crush the Rebellion. I mean the New Republic and every other Imperial Warlord that's in my way. So what do we start with? All right, we got a handful of planets. Uh, I believe there's 50 overall in this campaign. And I've already got... ISD-2s, Imperial Star Destroyers. I've got a Providence class. No shit. This is one of those big droid ships during the Clone Wars. Um, ten fighter squadrons, heavy proton torpedoes. It's beautiful. Of course, I've got my stormtroopers on the deck everywhere. I've got to figure out. Let's turn on all of our things. We have two heroes. We've got 13X. He is our warlord, it looks like. I wonder what he's in command of. And the Crimson Command Victory 2s. I think I actually fought these when I played the New Republic um, in the other episode. We've also got uh, Leona. Uh, Moff turned pirate who lent her support to that of her uh, pirate brothers. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a pirate commander who's joined us. So we need to establish our ground production facilities. I don't really know what I would call my, my center line. We also want to grab this planet because... I don't like the idea that I'm kind of cut off in my own territory. Why don't we do that right now? Let's resume. Let's gather up a we couple uh, ISD-2s. And just walk over here and see if we have to stop something. Okay, they don't have any ground troops. Let's get... Let's order up a couple of mines Building on this planet. Let's get our barracks online. And a light factory building online started. so we can actually start building, building troops. Lots of barracks everywhere so I can just get infantry like crazy. Let's see if there's even anything on the deck here. Good, it's ours. We'll pick up a couple of mines, and now we can take you back to the front line to defend. Uh, we just gotta fill out our... I can build probe droids! Give me three probe droids right now, and I can build ARC 170s. Interesting. They're a bomber class in this. Huh. Okay, fair enough. So we'll let that finish up. What can I build in the way of infantry now that I'm getting my barracks online? So uh, it looks like deployable E-Web squads. I love that sound effect. We'll grab some uh, Plex soldiers. It's our rocket infantry. And then who are you? Jetpacks? Jump troopers! Give me two groups of jump troopers. We need that in our lives. That's epic. So let's focus on taking Kashyyyk and maybe Porus as our first operations. We'll send out a probe droid to Kashyyyk. Find out what kind of base I would assume the New Republic has there, or maybe they're neutral. Construction complete. 
Who is yellow? New Republic. Okay. So, the New Republic has a base on Kashyyyk. They've also got a base here on Porus Vida. Uh, I can move Imperial Star Destroyers in position and eliminate them. So, let's put some gladiators. You know what? Let's separate one of these gladiators from the fleet and dispatch you to this fleet. Construction complete. Building under um, what can I build space-wise? Ooh. All right. So, there's a, a bit of a bug there. Now keep in mind, this is, this mod is still in development, and this version of it is just huge changes to the base game, uh, or to the base mod. This is Acclimator Assault Ship. It obviously is not an Acclimator, but uh, they do get, when in orbit, this unit allows a TIE Fighter to be deployed on the ground. If killed, the carrier is destroyed. Give me like four of those. That means we'll have TIE support on the ground. What are you? Secutor, an early Imperial design stemming from the Republic Star Destroyers. The Secutor is a heavy carrier measuring 2.2 kilometers in length, longer than the standard Star Destroyer model. Interesting. Of course, we get the Allegiance Battle Cruiser. Um, lacks the hangar bays, but is larger. Give me, give me one of those. Give, yeah, give me one of those, and let's start planning the assault on. Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's don't wait around. Also, we're gonna pause this one more time. I need I need armor on the ground. If we're gonna start uh, an invasion of Kashyyyk. Ooh, heavy frigate shipyard. Yes. We need proper ground troops. Hmm. Why don't you build a light building factory? And we'll see what it gets. And you've already got a light factory, so you start building a heavy factory. And we'll unlock, really? T-16s? I could have T-16 Skyhoppers, but why would I want to? Interesting. I don't I don't know why I would want one of those, because they were like civilian transports? Or data transports? Anyways, let's move the fleet in. We've lost our probe droids, but that's okay. We're beginning our first naval battle as the Empire. We're taking on the worky homeworld. It's not space that I'm worried about with Kishi. It's always ground because they have the Wookiees. There's our Gladiator. Originally designed to be an escort for the uh, right Star Destroyers. They're actually quite powerful. I'm not sure how they, they fare in this, but man, they've got some hangar bays. Are those Active. Sky Ray or Ski Rays? They are, blast boats. Reporting. What are you good Weapons at? Online. What, what are you like the counter of? Originally designed for the Empire, uh, the Ski Ray became popular with pirate and criminal syndicates. That's how you always see them as, yeah, as uh, pirate ships. Torpedo Bomber. Okay. Torpedo Bomber. Star Enemy destroyer is approaching. Standing by. Uh, that could be perfect for us. Why don't we go hard and heavy? Let's pause it and let's just let's get in there with Star Moving Destroyers because this is why I wanted to play as the Empire. Um, I kind of want to surround you. Can I have one come in from the rear? Order I can. And then why don't we dispatch a couple back here. And you're good against fighters, right? Defending itself against fighter craft and small frigates. So as long as you're not directly in the fray. Let's go ahead and resume. The Imperial fleet is arriving. Oh, you're fine. Tractor beam them. Oh, I can't. They're considered capital ships. Damn. Don't let them push through the lines. How you doing back here? We've launched our TIE fighters. <laughs> I just want waves and waves of TIEs. Good, you're getting work done. I'm going to give you reinforcements anyways because raisins. Because we can. And let's make sure that they don't have any other ships that could possibly hyperspace out. I want no survivors. Get in there. I actually want to see how well you do against fighter craft. Awaiting your orders. Okay, probably not that well. You did take out an X-Wing. Yeah, you're taking some damage. Fall back! How are we doing against those MC-40s? They are sucking out damage with that many Star Destroyers around them, but they're done. We've taken orbit of Kashyyyk. Prepare ground forces. Retreat aboard. Get the stormtroopers to their shuttlecraft. Uh, all right, we've got, what, one E-Web, one rocket, three infantry squads. We've got jetpack troopers here. Let's go ahead and rendezvous at the system one jump away. Construction complete. How goes our 
armor production. Can we do the thing yet? We can't do the thing yet. I can make pod walkers. And I can make pirate Recording skiffs, in. which is weird. I don't really want any of those things. <laughs> I'll take some ATPTs and some pod walkers. Fine. Let's get our TIE fighters. Oh, I love that they come up as just TIE fighters, too. That's cool. Didn't I build more of those? Are they still under production? Yeah, three more under production. So our base... Oh, Skyhoppers are cheap! Compared to these guys, which are 2,000? 150. And I can also produce them at the same time. So if I want a, a high-grade um, Air Force, I can build our faster-producing Air Force. Right? Complete. Why don't we leave an ISD and a like a little patrol group over Kashyyyk, and we'll move over and secure the orbit of this planet. Tactical battle imminent. Is that all they got? Auto resolve that. It is ours. Excellent. Reporting right, in. How how's our front line out here? You guys. What are you? Pirate refuge. Reporting pirate in. base within a hollowed out asteroid. That's awesome. Can I build that because she's there? Or because this is like a system that would have it lore-wise, I wonder. Let's upgrade our space station. Let's also give you the hypervelocity cannon. That way we can actually hold on to that planet because I got a feeling it's going to be a problem. Um, oh, we gotta take this world. Let's get let's get some probe droids dispatched. Reporting in. Who are you? There's a sizable fleet here. It's way too close to my production areas for, for ground troops. We cannot have this. We cannot allow this. Uh, okay, here we go. Saber tanks are my heavy tank. That's epic. I also get low altitude assault ships. Brigade down Vehicle in production. Yes. Just yes to all of this. Complete. And then I get advanced factory. Necessary. We'll wait until the low-altitude assault ships, the LATs, are ready to go. Somebody actually told me, Shaq, they're not LATs, okay? They're L-A-A-T's. You don't, you don't realize that that's what you shorten them to, right? It's easier to say that than L-A-A-T. Call it a LAT or an ad at It's cool, man. It's all right. <laughs> I think we'll live. All right, ground troops. Where are your TIE fighters? Oh, I see. They, why do they look different in this menu than they do when they're on the ground? It's really weird. Moving to new sector. Moving to new sector. Complete. Commander, take that planet. Begin battle. Indeed. What? <laughs> this is it? This is what we got? We got Bob and his buddy on a bike. All right, let's grab some armor. Order acknowledged. We have an E-Web squad, or two. I guess I get a couple of them. And let's get TIE Fighter. We need this. We also need some rocket infantry. Kind of wish I had artillery. Um, no. <laughs> I think that's still in the works. All right. We got X-Wings in the air. Or no, snow, sp snow speeders. Speeders. Come on, boys. Shoot them down. There we go. Don't get too far away. One of the things that haven't been balanced yet are the turbo laser towers. And they'll probably one-shot my ties, so I gotta be a little careful with that. Now, how do you guys work? I get you in position and then I just deploy you? That's awesome. I dig that. Alright, boys. Secure this base. Also, um, get over here and capture this so we can get some AA up. TIE Fighter! Your ass over here. Why are you so far away? Changing course to intercept. All right, let's pause this. Oh, he's already firing. I want you to intercept that snow speeder. And we have to watch this in cinematic mode. Get him! We got him. All right, fall back. Fall back. Where are you guys going? Get over here. <laughs> I thought you couldn't do this in the normal game. Have Tie Fighters supporting the the stormtroopers. Isn't doesn't this just feel right? It does to me. Ready for recon. All right, here we go. Ready I need some recon. Move. I need you to right away. get in there. Show me what they've got. Turbo laser tower. Oh, God. Oh, he's not long for this world. Nope. 
That's actually gonna be a problem. I don't have anything that's particularly good at taking out turbo laser towers. And then I guess I've got the armor here. Sorry to take it a beating. Alright, let's form up. And we'll move out. Armor! Alright, we're all fine. Everything's fine here. Why don't you guys go ahead and take cover? I like that they actually crouch down. I'm really relying. Take out that Wookiee home! Alright, the rocket infantry might be able to get work done. And it doesn't take too long for our heavy gunners, our E-webs. Shit! Blow the cannons! No, 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 where are you going? Sometimes that pathfinding. All right, get in there. Troopers, take down those Wookiees. Now's the time. Let's bring in our, our TIE Fighter. At least we'll see what they've got. I want like a wing of these guys. Nope, 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 those are AA guns, run! Oh, that cost me 2,000 credits. I feel like either, either they need to be a little tankier, or they need to be cheaper, to be completely honest. All right, take out the bunker. Wow, bunkers seem a lot better now. Where are you going? Oh, you're not one of mine. And they take out this Wookiee. That thing's got some range on it. Pod walkers? For being as old school as they are, boys, deploy your heavy guns. Like, we need these. Take them down. That looks fantastic. All right, let's get you reinforcements. Hold here until reinforcements arrive. Uh, let's try out some jetpacks. So we're in that like trial phase. We've got to test all of the things. Goes against my better judgment to deploy any more TIE fighters right now. Why don't we bring in, seriously? Is this what we do? Let's bring in some skyhoppers. They're cheap, 150 per, compared to 2,000 for the damn. Ties. Skyhoppers have shields? What? I'm sorry, but they seem way better. I bet they suck for weapons. How well do you tank? AA fire. Skyhopper. Alright, not not well. Successful test. Well done, guys. Alright, bunkers suck. Let's go. Let's get We'll bring in some armor, and then let's try jetpack. They do have that Superman thing going on, but... Roger that. Jetpack's moving out. Alright, armor. You should be able to make short work of that, right? Beautiful. They're actually outside the range of the bunker. I'm down with that. Alright, jump troops. Let's go. Get up here. Let's go. I copy. We need to get into their production facility. We also need to take out this anti-air. Then we can bring our Skyhopper in to, to back Let's us up. These pod walkers are like little mini artillery units with their range. What? What are you shooting at? Holy sweet babies! Turn the heavy cannon around! Where's that rocket trooper going? Come on, heavy guns! Look at them go fly! <laughs> How close do we have to get? Oh, I can't help myself. Tie bombers coming in. Commencing bombing run. Commencing bombing run. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I see. They've messed up. Remember, this is a work in progress for the mod. They've messed up the uh, the death animation. I love that they go flying, but they turn into stormtroopers when they die. Also love that the pod rockers have the range. They shouldn't shy away from um, units having substantially different ranges, in my opinion. Especially space-born ships. We should have like artillery long-range ships, close-range brawlers, and be able to figure out what the differences are and how to best utilize these ships. I feel like that's something that Empire War has been missing. Uh, let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. Skyhoppers. Armor, roll it up. We're moving out. Roger. 
So what are you guys good at? All right, men, load your weapons. Ready, sir. All right, men, load your weapons. We're moving out. Take them down. Just attack move. Kill all of the things. Um, you're not great at taking out buildings, which is fine. And I'm not really sure how I feel about the jump range, because look at how close they have to be. All right, actually, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. That could easily be, you know, a mountainside. It just depends on if they can fly over mountains. How useful that would be. Skyhoppers! It's time, my friends. I don't know why you fall into the same category as ATPTs. But, uh, go ahead and take them out! See how good you are. A little bit of an area effect, it looks like, when they fire. Come on, boys. Attack move. Kill all of the things. I'm gonna say, I think they're a bit better. They're a bit better than the TIE Fighters. It could be just the ties haven't been balanced yet. They're obviously not finished. Enemy uh, what do we got? There's the last enemy holdouts. And then the Wookiee homeworld will be ours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a vote in this episode asking what you guys would rather see. A New Republic playthrough, which we, we already finished one, but in this demo, the one that I've just started. Or do you wanna see this Imperial playthrough? Uh, with the Greater Mount Rude, because I'm enjoying it. Now, we're not done yet. Uh, I'm just asking now while, while I'm remembering to do it. Seriously, guys, where's the damn enemy base? There's like one unit left somewhere. Skyhoppers, get your asses over here. Bunkers, is that the problem? Are they hiding in bunkers? Because my ATPTs give no shits. No, those are, those are Wookiees. They were hunting down with skyhoppers. <laughs> it's terrible. Wait, what's... Oh, it's one of mine. Okay. Come on over here. Oh, the units engage. Speed it up. There we go. Rebels. There's got to be a structure or... No, it's just a Wookiee base. There we go. I had to hunt down those last few infantrymen. Now, the planet is us. Let's not lose it. So, let's get a hypervelocity cannon here. Let's get a new star base. Do we have the heavy barracks yet? Beginning construction. I want all of the units. We do have our dropship. Let's group you up. And let's invest in a couple of victory classes. Yeah, I want to start building up Unit our Quintin's fleet, our Star Destroyer fleet. Uh, start reinforcing this like outer rim area. Uh, Crow droids. Let's see what they got. Give me intel. It's like a neutral planet. With nothing in orbit. Head over there. Oh wait, there's a Star Destroyer. Victory class? Single victory class. I lost. I lost the battle. That's bullshit. <laughs> um, I need more droids. This is why you don't auto-resolve ever. Just don't do it. Golan platforms. Let's move the ground troops out. I want to prep for an invasion of this world so we can control everything within our borders. We've got our new tanks as well. Go ahead and join up. Yeah, I want, I want to get these, what is this, advanced factory. Give me two of them. So whatever it is that I can build, I'm assuming AT-ATs. We can build them faster. Now, what's the, what's the intel on this planet? Unknown, because I don't know what he commands. So let's go with a proper, a proper fleet. I hate to pull troops off the front line like this, but it's necessary. Constructing. Let's all build up our defenses. You good to go? Who's in command? This guy looks like he should be in command. Looks so angry. Begin the battle. Let's move out. New Alderaan's right there. Oh, and Mon Calamari. I know where we are now. Excellent. 
If we can knock those two worlds out, then the New Republic's influence in this area will be eliminated. Batteries online. One of these red victory classes. All right, launch all fighters. Prep for combat. Your reinforcements. Weapons ready. We're going in and yes, sir. Navigating we're going to hyperspace right in on top of them. Going to go super aggressive with this playthrough. At your command. Move out, boys. Flank speed. Hopefully Enemy we get excited. sensors are on. There we go. Should we just go heavy victory class? Let's get a flagship. Let's Where do you think you're going? Coming about. Destination confirmed. We're on our way. Three Box the bin. We'll be the victory classes won't be able to take as much of a da much of a hit, Move but you guys have the abilities? Battle. No. More firepower. Oh, there is no running. You screwed with the wrong warlord. <laughs> Surround them. Wipe them out. All of them. Sometimes it's fun to play the bad guy. No, 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 not, not, not canceled. Reinforcements canceled. Eliminated them that fast. What do they have left? Sit. Focus off firepower. Reinforcements canceled. Give me another star destroyer. Oh yeah, the Empire. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, it's gonna go into cinematic view. All right, prepare the ground troops. We need more. We need more stormtroopers. I don't want to hit the deck yet unless we have proper armor this time. Enemy um, fleet approaching. All right, where are they coming in at? Da, 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 da. Uh, I guess I'll find out the hard way. Tactical battle imminent. Holy shit, that's a stack. Wow, they've got, they've got old droid command ships as well, and a couple of legions battle cruisers. This is bad. We're gonna have to pull out of there. We can't hold on. Uh, and reinforcements, we do have our own Allegiance Battlecruiser. I think that's what this is. Yes, we do. But it needs to group up with one of our fleets in the area. I may have to pull you guys off the line and bring you back. Damn, I really wanted to hit this planet. This is our strongest fleet, though, in the area. Hmm. Well, while I'm thinking about it, where is our... You're almost done. 90% we will be able to see what the uh, the biggest units they are. This is only tier 2, by the way, technology-wise. So who knows what this faction gets as you progress. Uh, in this campaign, we're going to stay at tier 2. We can't go up any higher than that. All right, let's begin the battle. Let's try to get these ISDs out of there before they get overrun. Oh, we're going to lose one of our larger shipyards as well. That kind of sucks. Your command, sir. All right, fall back. Yes. Reinforcements on route. Wait, is that like a capturable asteroid? On route. Commander. Wow. Okay, you guys actually supplied me with a number of free units. Understood. They're just so far away. Reinforcements on route. What the hell? Look at the map. You can see the loser hulks. You can see, I assume, a super star destroyer. Look, reinforcements, on route. reinforcements on route. Reinforcements on route. I get a ton of reinforcements. reinforcements on route. Really? More? I'm getting our Quintons for days. I kind of want to make a go of this because that's a lot of reinforcements. Fall back. It doesn't look like you can do anything with these asteroids. Are they all asteroids on the map? Yes, they are. Uh, let's see if we can cause them some trouble. Oh, that's what the battle cruiser looks like. Reporting in. Pay for combat. What are your orders? These are all free units. Might as well bring them into the fight. Target and destroy. Zoom out. There should be a victory class somewhere near here. This victory class. We can take him out. Tie squadron here. Tie squadron advance. Let's go. Attack. Roger that. You, I don't want to have to replace. So you just avoid combat the best you can. Oh, you two are both bomber squadrons. Run! See if you can swing in behind them. 
TIE fighters are coming in range of one of my gladiators, not one of my free ones. It looks like the rest of the fleet is kind of spread out. I like this map. It makes them go around the base. Well, except for my bombers. They're just going in. And the one Arquins that I had that decided to go through the asteroid belt. <laughs> he does what he wants, whatever. Oh, you have your orders. Intercept those TIE fighters. There's my Arquins. Now, what are you guys actually good at in this? How are they using you? Anti-fighter support? Uh, long military history. Uh, Clone Wars continued its mainline service into the time of the Empire, combating the Rebel Alliance from its earliest days. Lightly armored with turbo laser batteries. So, yeah, you're able to do something. I'm thinking a group of you focusing real hard on a... Oh, shit. Wow, oh, actually, you're doing quite well. And we've got four squadrons of heavy torpedo bombers. Let's see what you've got. Look at the missiles coming in off this victory class. Yeah, you're never gonna be able to break that. Try to focus all of your firepower on the victory class. Make sure you go for his engines as well. I'm starting to think the victory's got better shields than the... Oh, hi! Ah, uh, shit. You know, we're not gonna win this battle. And look at this thing. We need to fall back. I'm giving the order. Calculating jump to light speed. All units jump to hyperspace. We'll come back. I don't want to lose an ISD for nothing. For the chance of killing a victory class. It's not worth it. We'll come in with the proper amount of firepower. You be you will be rebuilt. So one of the things that they've changed is the M the AI no longer trickles in units. They actually come in with a proper fleet. Which has made them a, a hell of a lot more deadly than they were before. How are we doing on ground troops? Yeah, you need more stormtroopers. Construction complete. Show me what they've got. There's the main fleet. Let's begin this ground invasion. Uh, let's pause this real quick. I do want to see. What can I build with the... With the... Oh, yes! Oh, we've got artillery, too! So there's our Vehicle artillery. Give me production. two of those. We'll build that later. Give me two of those. Give me AT-ATs. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. That's going to take a while. Shit. All right, well, we can't wait for them to be finished constructing. We need this fleet. I need to capture this world. There's nothing defending this world now. Unit in production. Give me a couple of our Quintons. Begin the invasion. Now, I hope the lads are great. Like, I hope we can transport troops. I'm hoping we get some type of commando or elite stormtroopers that I can load up into my lats to actually engage. Because if the, the infantry die incredibly quickly, Choose your reinforcements. Fun. Um, All right, let's try it. Heading Bring out. the transport in. Give me a bunch of stormtroopers. Let's get some armor to back them up. Canceled. Maybe some pod walkers for some support. Standing by. Awaiting destination. Heading out. Load it up! Oh, I like the look Aerial of the lap. Artillery reporting. Aerial artillery reporting, Engines you don't activated. say. Awaiting orders. Inbound! Alright, boys. Wait a minute. Stormtroopers. Looks like the locals are not on my side, but they're not on their side either. What are you? Hmm. Doesn't look like I can capture it or anything. So where are their production facilities? <gasps> That's what we can Ready do with the orders. lat! We can capture this point! Receiving orders. Get in there. Ah. I hate maps like this where it can't tell the difference between a flying unit and like the flying units end up walking down the roads, strangely enough. Kind of enjoying it though. That's pretty good. When it should just fly straight there. All right, troops, take the base. As you wish. All right, Squad now come on back. Copy. Let's prepare our ground We're troops to assault. We secured a landing zone. They don't seem to have any actual buildings. It's all area, or it's all um, just infantry roaming about. Bring in some more. In route. 
Firepower. I will just fly around and kill everything. Just sit there and take them out. I'll bring you in some TIE Fighters for backup. Orders, sir. Orders, sir. Fly out there. Kill everything in route. Take them down. Oh wow, you guys lined up really strangely. Let's go. Moving to position right away. Charge. Engage. That is gonna take you forever, isn't it? It really is. All right. Well, let's just you get use you guys to take out any enemy infantry that are in the area. Uh, so yellow is civilian. So all we really have to take out is these stormtroopers. We'll cover you. As they get strafed. They're doing nothing to my air. Excellent. Well done. One more squad right here. Armor is just starting to arrive. Oh, what did you do? Why did you separate from the rest of the, of the ground troops? There they go. It's just getting rolled over. Are those friendly fire? Yes, they are. That's not good. There we go. The planet is ours. Now we can deal with that massive fleet to the north. So, the explosives that the bikes use... Uh-oh. Are, ...are friendly fire. I wonder if the artillery is going to be as well. With our subjugation, subjug, subjug, uh, can't talk. With our subjugation of the Armidian sector, Moff Gatellis has wisely seen fit to transfer. I'll have to resume that. Construction complete. Oh, I can't see it. Transfer. I'm assuming what their forces to us. Yes, he has joined us. I love that they've got little events. As I take, you give me a discount, really. Provides 20% discount to his location. All right, well, the world is ours. Let's grab the fleet and engage that Moving massive army that attacked us first. Tactical battle imminent. Begin the battle. Is this going to be a battle with the Super Star Destroyer? And did you take what's-his-name out of command? No, you didn't. I still have that red victory class. Reporting in. He gets shield boosts. Cool. Ready for duty. Coming about. Destination confirmed. All right. Head in between the two asteroid belts, and we'll think about bringing you reinforcements. Come on, reveal the map. Roger that. Full speed ahead. Reveal the map so I can like flank them and take out the star base in the back. Incoming. There it goes. So what do we got? Uh, a large group of Super Star Destroyers in Victory Class. And a very small, a very small base. Like something that a single Victory could take out. out. So we're going to send our Victory in the back to deal with that. Launch your fighters, use your rockets, do what you need to do. <sighs> you guys, that's a substantial amount of firepower. I don't want to just surround them like I did that last attack. What we're going to have to do... What is this? What is going on in this field? Interesting. Why aren't you engaging? Open fire. Alright. Let's do this. Heading to destination. We'll combine all of our firepower on one front. Victory Class's rockets should be able to take out many of those TIE Fighters that are coming in. So we're going to do like a Victory Class front line here. Rear, actually. Give me... I can't bring any more reinforcements in? Come on. You're a little closer to that asteroid belt than I would like. There we go. Alright, how we doing? We've broken through the deflector shields on a Victory Class. Good. How's our hero doing? Ah, uh, his shields are down. Awaiting 
but we are making short work of their fighters. Now, oh, we're maxed out. Get down here. We need reinforcements immediately. I don't care if you have to go through the asteroid belt. I believe we're winning. <laughs> as their as their ISDs break in half, I think we're winning this. All right, open up. Take him down. That leaves us. No, actually, they've they've split up. That's that's good for us though. Hard to starboard. Take them out. I do love the new laser effects. Everything set feels so much more hostile and brutal the way they fire. Okay, our ISD here needs to come around. Why did you stop? You were actually doing just fine. Bring him reinforcements. Fighters, go. Get this firepower off of him. Keep chasing. I'll have more ships to back you up momentarily. Actually, you need to just come around to starboard. Come around to starboard. How do we do? Is he down? He's down. All right. Basically mopping up now. I mean, the battles seem way faster, but it might be just the amount of firepower that you get as the Empire. Has been destroyed. No, go into the asteroid field. I want you through the asteroid field. I don't care. Push through and engage that ship. I copy. Ready. How are you doing back here? Uh, we have nothing else to go after. All we've got is a victory class left and what's left of a Nebulon. Well, it's down. <laughs> Oh, I like that zoom. You are not long for this world, sir. And there he goes. And what are you guys taking out now? There should be nothing left. Oh, there is one shuttlecraft right here. And everything else is just TIE Fighters. TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter. So, the only thing with a hyperdrive Targeting. is this guy. And he has every fighter chasing him. All TIEs, break from the fleet and engage. I assume you'd be the fastest thing I've got, so get in there. That's a Sentinel class. I just picked one of these up in my X3 playthrough. I had a Sentinel class bail on me, so I'm turning into one of my trading ships, hauling ships. Victory is ours with no casualties. Beautiful. This was not the fleet that I meant to engage them. Or they've pulled back. There was no Super Star Destroyer there. So, All right, guys. That's going to be it for Episode 1. We've secured a few systems in Imperial territory. Um, I'm, I'm playing a Warlord for the Empire. Warlord Shack. And it's pretty fun. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to building. We haven't built any of them yet, but we have them on order. Our heavy artillery. And, of course, if you're playing as the Empire, our at, -AT walkers. Those are going to be a good time. Uh, what else do we get? Any other cool heavy units? This is anti-air. And this is an A9 floating fortress, which it looks like the front of a Gazanti cruiser. Interesting. Heavily armed repulsor lift craft designed... Uh, to aid ground assault and occupation forces. Rival to the ATAT, -AT, many Imperial officers believe that the floating fortress is more suitable to urban warfare due to its narrow width. In other words, it can what? Go down streets? Is what they're saying? Interesting. Well, we'll order one. Unit. Now, the same price as an ATAT, -AT, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Remember, click the vote in the description to let me know which one of these you would rather see more, uh, and we'll just see how it goes from there. Later, everybody.